Hey you guys, what's up? I'm Christian, that's Corey, and we are Super Kami Guru 9000, and this is our review of the Naruto manga chapter 656. So this chapter takes off right where the last one left off. Naruto is forming a giant Rasen Shuriken. I mean, like, it's obviously an Odamu Rasen Shuriken. It's gigantic, and he throws it. And it's at this point that we, like, jump to Obito, and he's kind of, like, struggling. He looks like he's pretty much about to become a good guy. And he's about to, uh, like, do the uh, move. I can never remember the name of this move. It's the move. It's got a lot of different names because there's a lot of translations for yeah. it. There's the Rene Tensei no Jutsu. Sometimes they call it, like, the Impure World Resurrection thing. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, weird translation names for Why this. is it called that, though? Because Edo Tensei is really an Impure Resurrection Jutsu, but that Jutsu actually I'm, does uh, it, just... I'm probably you know, mistaken. No, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, Obito is about to use that move, and he's about to bring back everybody... And Corey and I were talking, and I was like, Corey, you know, that means he's going to bring back Neji. And you were like, you know, it's been a year since Neji died. And I was like, what? And I was like, it, it has to be like only four months. Then we went and looked it up, and it really was like last Christmas Neji died. And I was like, holy fuck, how's it been that long? I mean, the Ten Tails has <laughs> actually been in existence now for a little over a year at this point. Mm -hmm. So it is actually, you know, pretty insane how much has actually not happened and how much has actually happened over the course of the last year. Before Obito decides he's going to join the Nagato Club, we actually had this really nice scene between Shukaku and between Gara, and this is a scene that I really enjoyed because it was sorely missing from last week's chapter, and it's just great to see these guys interact again. And it looks like Gara's actually going to want a little bit of help from Shukaku, and he's not really going to get it. He doesn't really trust Shukaku that much, and he's like, you know what, you're not working for me, dog. And Shukaku's trying everything he can. He's <laughs> shaking his big old sandy ass all over the place, but it's not doing anything, so he decides he's going to get a little bit of help from the monkey. If I do have one negative complaint about this whole scene, and maybe it just has something to do with the artwork, or maybe the way like we were it's viewing like the it, first half. but it just seems a little muddy right here. Like All the artwork just seems like just... You know what I mean? Like, it almost looks like it was all done with, like, one of those, like, big, fat-ass pastel, like, Or it looks like it was, crayons. like, it was, like, watercolor, but then they just, like, smeared it all or something. I no, don't it's know. like, hey, you like all this cool artwork of all these fucking monsters? <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it now. It's but, only, uh, like, the first half, though. Yeah, but like, that's, the, second that's half. the thing. Like, I was, like, when I was reading that for the first time, I'm like, oh, God, please don't let the chapter all be like this. So, luckily, it was just that one scene. But, again, it's great to see Shukaku again. Yeah, but getting back to Obito, he's, like, about to do the impure resurrection jutsu. You know, the same thing Nagato did. Or the, the bring the dead guy back to life no jutsu. Yeah, you know, he's about to uh, bring everyone back. And, uh, like we said, that would probably mean Neji. But before he can do that, Black Zetsu, like, bursts out of the ground and, like, grabs him in the chest. And uh, he's like, what the fuck are you doing, Black Zetsu? And he's like, sorry, man, this is, like, really what I was created to do. And he ends up bringing back Madara Uchiha in the flesh and blood. And Madara has, like, a super awesome hard-on for himself. He's like, yes, this is so awesome. I'm alive. Oh. But you gotta admit, the final panel is pretty cool with him standing there. You know, you gotta admit, you're just as excited as Madara is that he's back to life. But at the same time, I can't help but think... He's kind of shooting himself in the foot just a little bit. And the only reason I say that is because as an immortal, this guy was fucking unstoppable. Yes, there was that one time he summoned the giant meteor and he could basically take the hit, but he can't do that anymore. He's not going to be able to summon a meteorite and survive it when it fucking crushes his head clean through his ass. It's not going to work this time. And I don't even know why he fucking wants the ten tails and everything, if only just to take over the world and have complete control of everything, because let's face it, his Susano was strong enough. I mean, it was pretty awesome, but to me, it's more like they're hinting that he's going to be stronger now that he's alive. Oh, he's definitely going to be stronger. I don't necessarily understand why, though, because when he was immortal, he could do anything he wanted and die, and he had unlimited chakra, but now he has limited chakra, technically, and he can be like, you know, someone could stab him, and then that would, like, forever reduce his ability to, like, fight. You know? That's a good point. Like, any, like, random ninja from, like, any village can practically, like, show up and kill him. Like, you remember that one scene from South Park? It was that one episode where, uh, I believe it was, uh, the Looney Tunes episode, and it was after, uh, 9-11, and it was that one soldier who ended up killing Osama bin Laden, like, after the huge scene. He just oh, walks yeah, yeah. up and shoots him in the head, and he's just like, I got him! I got him! That, like, the same thing could happen here with, like, any, like, random ninja. They could just watch up... Hey, Kunai. And, like, that's it. End of the story. Let's all go have some ramen. But, uh, still... You know, I think what it really comes down to is Madara is putting it all on the line because he wants this plan to happen, and he knows he's only gone... He can only go so far as an Edo Tensei, and he's reached as far as he can go. Uh, but at the same time, it's literally everyone versus Madara. And it's like the old Hokages. It's everyone versus Hokage. I'm not versus too shocked Hokage. by this. They, they've shown how powerful he is... 
you know, just especially in the anime form, like when he was fighting against that huge group of ninja, just single handedly, mm-hmm. it was no problem for him. But the main reason, obviously, for why he's so like jacked to be alive is because now he can become the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. Because obviously, you have to be a living person for that to happen. Uh, but still, a lot has to happen to have that happen, though. Indeed, still, you um, know, like he's got to capture all the beasts again. Probably he's mm-hmm. got to fight everyone off at the same time, and mm-hmm. then at the same time, he's probably got to re activate that plant there's a lot left to have happen mm-hmm. even if he is going that but uh, another scene that i thought was really really cool was when black setsu came up out of the ground and mm-hmm. started uh, attacking obito i just thought that looked really like just really gruesome and really awesome but it also like as fucked up as the scene is it relieved me because i didn't want obito to use that technique to like you said revive neji and revive everybody because neji's death was so perfect it was handled so well and i think it would diminish it all by bringing him back to life um, it would show they don't take it seriously. Mm, and and I'm not sure if, like, Black Zetsu, like, I don't know if this means the death of Obito. Like, I don't think Black Zetsu killed him or anything. They sort of explained um, that Obito's not going to die for the, you know, they did explain that, yeah, he had the Bijou pulled mm-hmm. out of him and that didn't kill him. But I don't think this Jutsu is going to kill him either. He's probably out of the game, though. I mean, you know. He's, he's just... definitely out of the game. And mm. uh, I even like the conversation that Kakashi had with Obito as well. It was like... Are you sure you want to want to use this jutsu? It's going to give up your life. I mean, don't you want to live the rest of your life in fucking jail? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I just thought that was kind of strange. And Obito's like, mm, no, I'm going to use this technique. And I, I guess presumably he was going to heal everybody that he hurt. Uh, but still, it's good to see uh, Madara is back on top of his game. It looks like he's going to be the real final villain of the series. And considering all the crazy shit that he's done already, I cannot wait to see what he's going to be capable of being alive. And... It's just going to be a great excuse for Naruto and Sasuke to team up even more and hopefully uh, give Naruto a little more spotlight because he is the main character after all and I think he is the one who needs to finish Madara off. I think that would be a, a really awesome thing to actually have happen. And But at the same time, I really feel that uh, it's probably going to be a big power friendship team punch. Oh, it's definitely going to be power friendship punch. <laughs> yeah. Or something like to that effect. It's, it's, it's going to involve everyone in some sense, I do believe. Because like, the whole point is, at least symbolically at this point, it's kind of like Madara is the power of one versus, you know... They even said that Obito realizes that the power of many people is, like, very attractive, and that's why he was, like, about to heal everyone and, like, change sides, technically, and Obito was, like, the most stubborn character in the whole damn series. Literally, Naruto had to talk Najutsu him for about a whole two months. Maybe even longer. <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure. Longer. It's kind of hard to tell Maybe how much time. throughout the whole series, actually. Like, I don't know how long Planet Namek's been, you know, blowing up for. But, like, <laughs> you know, this whole... Te- I can understand why some people have been kind of frustrated with Naruto lately. Because of how long they've been sort of uh, dragging out a lot of these big events and everything. But it looks like it is going to be getting to the conclusion very soon. And, uh, you know, even though, you know, all the stuff with the Obito becoming the Jinchuriki and everything was really cool. I think Madara is going to take it to a whole new level in terms of action. Which I cannot wait to see. Because he's just... In terms of, like, fighting ability... He's the one to go to. Oh, no, and he's the pure evil. Like, exactly. Obito was conflicted. I don't know. I wouldn't say pure evil. I, I still think Madara's going to have the moment because he's going to be defeated. They're not going to end the series with infinite Tsukiyomi. If they did, that would be, <laughs> that would be very bold and hilarious, but really depressing. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if Madara is going to have that moment where he's just like, you know what? I shouldn't have been a bad guy. Let's be friends now. Rene no Jutsu. You know, I just don't want that to happen. But I do want him to, you know, kind of go out knowing that... He can get that, hit like, with, like, a giant... You know, like, Goku hits him with a Kamehameha, and now mm-hmm. he's evaporating. He's like, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> you know? Like, maybe that could go... You know, he, like, he goes out like Cell, but with a little bit of class. Yeah, but with a little bit of class. <laughs> All right, and, and on that note, <laughs> it was a pretty interesting chapter. Uh, I actually didn't hate it. My only complaint, really, was the Jinchuriki scene that was kind of muddy the way it was drawn. Uh, but otherwise, this was a pretty good chapter this week, which uh, had the plot twist that we all sort of saw coming, but I'm glad that it's finally happening now. So for me personally, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I just thought it was pretty solid. The only thing I didn't like was all that muddy stuff. I'm going to take it to a uh, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? I thought it was a little better than that. Mm-hmm. But still, you know, not perfect. Uh, the last page kind of, I don't want to say saved it, but definitely brought it home for mm-hmm. me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. And the best way to support our channel and our videos is thumbs up. We really appreciate it. So smack that like button, bitches. And until next time, Super Comic Guru 9000, out. Also, guys, uh, if you don't realize, it is Thanksgiving week uh, this week. So we're going to be very busy. So a few quick announcements. Uh, first and foremost, Thursday, Naruto Shippuden and Kill La Kill. They're going to be delayed. Uh, it, I am going to be home later that night. There's a possibility I might get one of them done, but don't expect to see any of those anime reviews until Friday morning. 
Uh, you know, and, and that sucks because I'm really looking forward to it. Kill All Kill is on top right now. Uh, another big announcement, Christmas is also coming up. And Christmas happens to follow on a Wednesday. And because of that, that means Naruto is going to be coming out, Bleach is going to be coming out. And it's going to be the holidays, so we're probably not going to be able to have those reviews out on those days either. Uh, but we're still going to have those out for you as soon as possible, probably the very next day. On a positive note, um, I like puppies. Okay, guys. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Don't kill puppies.